Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm altering a brag book using the beautiful Graphic 45 Once Upon a Springtime collection. I took an old book that I've had in my stash for years. I think I paid about a dollar for it from Michaels, and as you can see, it's not very pretty, and I'm just pulling apart the binding on it, just lightly pulling those wires apart, and I'm taking off the front and back cover. I will be spray painting those. So I'll set the inside over to the side for now, and I take those outside and spray paint them. And while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm going to get my papers ready. So this collection is gorgeous, and fairies are so popular right now. Um, it seems like they're always popular, but they do seem to be trending. And the Graphic 45, the fairies in this collection are just beautiful. They have so many elements that you can cut apart with their collections and that's just one of the reasons that I love Graphic 45. The quality of paper is just amazing. So I decided to fussy cut several pieces out which I will speed through this pretty quickly so you don't have to sit there and watch it all. But one tip that I can give is you just want to turn the paper, not your scissors. Try and keep your, your scissors pretty steady and turn the paper around them and use sharp scissors and that really helps with fussy cutting elements out. So I cut a couple of the fairies and now I'm cutting some of the flowers. And I decided that um, I want to use the B side for the matting of my book. So I'm cutting out mats for the front and back cover and also the inside pages. I'm using a coordinating paper from a different collection for the inside pages. And again, that's one of the other things that I really love about Graphic 45 is all their papers tend to coordinate. So now that I've cut those out, I will set those aside and cut some chipboard for behind my, my focal piece. I wanted it to have a little bit of dimension and I also wanted the chipboard to pretty much cover the entire back. That way it doesn't bend around the chipboard. And I do decide to cut two pieces. I wanted it to stand up a little bit more. So I just cut around the shape of it. And I'm just kind of placing it all together to see if I'm happy or if there's anything else I wanted to cut out. And I decided I was happy with what I had. So I'm taking the manufacturer strip and cutting that out. And I will be using that on the front of my paper there. And of course, it says once upon a springtime. Here are my covers. Um, now that they've dried, I've used Coral Isle by Krylon. And this is the new Angel Craft Podge. I absolutely love this. It's a semi-gloss. It has very little odor. It cleans up so nicely with soap and water. And I've been using this for a couple months now. Now I've used it paper to paper. I've used it paper to wood and um, chipboard. And I have not found anything that this, this does not work well on. It also has a brush tip applicator, so it makes it super easy to clean up. And it does dry rather quickly. It goes on very nicely and it's very thin, which I like. And you do not get the bubbles that you get with Mod Podge. So what I like to do is put a piece of paper towel over it, burnish it down. And if any of it seeps out the side, it'll catch in the paper towel. And if there's any spots like that one that are lifted up, you just kind of want to lift it up, run the brush under it, and then I press it down with a paper towel and it adheres perfectly. Um, like I said, I've been using it for a couple of months and I'm so happy with how the projects are holding up. I've had no problems with this. I've always had such a love-hate relationship with Mod Podge um, because of the smell. I'm very sensitive to smells and I don't, this does not bother me at all. And also the bubbling that you tend to get with Mod Podge. I've not had one thing bubble with this product. So I'm also using this to adhere the chipboard pieces together and then also my paper to the chipboard. And it, like I said before, it does dry very quickly. And now I will use that to adhere onto the front of my book. So now I'm just going to place down my fairies using the same 
Angel Craft Podge. They also, um, Cut at Home also will be coming out with a Sparkle Podge soon. I cannot wait to get my hands on that. That will be gorgeous. And also a matte finish too, which I love to use matte a lot. You can also use this podge on top of your paper as well. I do not do that here with my project. And it, like I said, it turns out beautiful. It just depends on the look that you're going for. So now I'm just kind of putting back my front and back cover. And I will simply add some beautiful flowers to it. And that manufacturer strip, I use my bone folder to break up the fi fibers in it and just give it a little bit of a curve. And I'll add that at, towards the end here. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. This was a lot of fun to make. And any project that you're using Graphic 45 papers with turn, turn out amazing in my opinion. So I'll pop up that flower cluster there to again give more dimension add my flowers and that's about it there will be detailed photos at the end please stop by cut it home's blog there will be more photos there along with all the products used today and lots of inspiration thanks so much for stopping by